Hey YouTube, another day, another vlog. Okay, I know, I know, I haven't posted to YouTube in, well, let's find out exactly for sure. 47 days, I haven't posted in 47 days, and I am so sorry, you guys. You're probably wondering what the heck, I just started my YouTube channel back in July. I posted consistently for two months, and then, boom. So, a lot has happened. I have had a crazy, crazy busy fall. So the last video I posted was my tack room reveal video. After that video, I went to Toronto. So Toronto, we were there for four or five nights and we were there for a Pets Canada Business Expo. It's literally just open for anybody in the pet industry. So whether you have like a pet retail business or a veterinary clinic, a grooming business, a boarding business, like anything to do with a pet industry owner. And it's basically a massive trade show where all these business owners and business employees come and they pick out their product at the show. They see new and innovative toys, treats, products, that sort of thing in the pet industry. So it's just a really cool show to go to and we had never gone to it before. So we went there and that was in, yeah, middle of September, like literally a few days after I posted my tack room reveal video. And then, so I did vlog a bit of Toronto. I did bring my camera, I did vlog a little bit. However, I didn't finish it. So I vlogged the first day and then I was like, okay, see you guys tomorrow morning. And then I didn't vlog. I am sorry, I didn't vlog. So. Yeah, I didn't finish that vlog. So then after Toronto, I tried to film a couple days at the store. So for anyone that's new here, I run a Western shop called Rodeo Dog. Now, Rodeo Dog carries a bunch of Western tech, Western fashion, and pet supplies, of course, hence why we were in Toronto. And so I tried to film some days at Rodeo Dog, showing all the brand new horse tech that was coming in, like doing some unboxings with that. And then it got busy and I didn't finish it. So I am going to finish that vlog though. I also just got back from Los Angeles last week. So I'm a big, big fan of LA. I've gone to LA three times now. Uh, the second time was actually just a few months back. I went back in May. There's something about Los Angeles that just really ignites my passion. I don't know if it's because it's like a hustle bustle culture. It's the heart of the entertainment industry and there's a lot of YouTubers there and whatnot, but everyone's really into their self-development there and everyone's really trying to better themselves and improve themselves. And that's honestly one of my passions. So that's why I really love going to LA. And it's just kind of cool too, because I mean, since I'm on YouTube, obviously I watch a lot of YouTube, uh, which means I also watch a lot of reality TV. I love reality TV and yeah, that might sound cringy, but I don't care because I love it. Hence why you guys are watching YouTube because you're watching someone else's reality. So same thing. Anyway, don't come at me for that because let's be real, it's YouTube and reality TV is almost the same thing. You're still getting a glimpse into someone else's life. So yeah, it's just fun to go to LA and go to the restaurants and the hotels and the different areas that you see already on TV or someone else's YouTube video. So that was really fun. Anyways, where am I going with that? I did film a little bit in LA, but I didn't film that much. Like I brought my vlogging camera but I didn't actually use it. I literally just grabbed my iPhone and just horizontally shot my phone for quite a few scenes. Because I'm not in LA anymore, I can't finish that vlog. So another thing that I've kind of been asking myself, did I get burnt out? And part of me wonders if I did because I was literally just watching another YouTuber this morning. Her name is Katie Steckley. And if you are an aspiring YouTuber, I definitely recommend watching her videos. I love watching her content. She really knows what she's talking about. She's been YouTubing for years and years and years. And she's really built up her channel. And now she gives other YouTubers tips and advice for starting out. So if you are an aspiring YouTuber, go ahead and watch Katie Steckley. She is amazing. Anyway, so I was watching one of her videos this morning and she was talking about how YouTubers that aren't extremely passionate about the content that they're producing, like the niche that they're in, they're gonna get burnt out super fast compared to a YouTuber that is filming something they're constantly passionate about. Now you might be wondering why I brought that up. Obviously I love horses. Horses are my ultimate passion. I've loved, loved, loved horses ever since I was a little girl. They've always been my passion, always will be my passion. However, I am not just a horse girl. I have other passions as well. And those passions include health and wellness, fitness, nutrition, 
coffee, being a bougie city girl. Honestly, like I'm a true Gemini in the sense that there are multiple sides to me. And when I was filming just my horse content, yeah, obviously I loved that. I had fun with that and you guys loved it too. That's why you're following me. But I just can't see myself realistically filming those videos all the time. I wanna film more stuff that isn't just horses like Toronto and LA and other places that we go to or other things that I do like maybe a self-care vlog that has nothing to do with horses so I guess what I'm getting at is I really want to film different videos too if there's a video that you want me to film that isn't just horse related let me know because I would love to do that we do have some more fun and exciting things coming up like for example we are gonna be driving down to Arizona pretty soon uh, so we take our horses down to Arizona every winter my boyfriend ropes down there all winter he competes at the world series of team roping finale in Vegas every year so that's during the NFR I will be filming that there is no way I wouldn't film that if you follow me on TikTok, you'll see that yes I do post while in Vegas so this will be my first time doing YouTube in Vegas which is very exciting my SD card just ran out so hence why the camera angle has changed a little bit one other funny thing that happened when we were in LA so we went to Malibu one day and I had a margarita at lunch and then immediately after lunch we decided to walk the pier in Malibu and there's some there's a really cute gift shop there and I saw this hat now if you are a team roper you know that Leo Camarillo is an OG team roper and he's from California so silly me when I saw this hat I thought it said Leo Camarillo so I was like oh my gosh as if I need to get that hat for my boyfriend anyways he goes to open it and he's like uh, babe, it says Leo Carrillo. I was like, what? I couldn't believe my mistake. I was like, as if. So I quickly Googled Leo Carrillo and it's a freaking beach in California. Leo Carrillo is a beach in California and that is why there's a Leo Carrillo hat because of that beach. Not because it's Leo Camarillo. I blame it on the margarita buzz that I wasn't thinking straight in that moment. Whoopsie. This is not meant to be like a real vlog. This was just meant to be a catch up, where have I been, that sort of thing vlog. And basically just to keep you guys in the loop of what the heck's been happening and what's going to happen. So I need to do a shout out to one of my subscribers. Thank you so much to Kylie Wharton for giving me a video idea. I answered uh, one of her questions in my last video, the tack room reveal video. So thank you so much, Kylie. I really appreciate that. And if you guys have any more suggestions or video ideas, please comment down below. And like I said, it doesn't have to be horse related. I would love to make some videos that aren't just horse related because I have many other passions. I'm not just a horse chick. I'm also kind of a city girl in a way as well, even though I don't live in the city, but you know what I mean. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being patient with me as I'm still trying to wrap my head around doing YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.